So I figured I'd spare you the wake up scene, but it's early in the morning. Actually, it's later than I normally get up. It is around 8.30. In Florida, it is 45 degrees right now. I can't even believe that. <laughs> like, I came down here to escape the cold weather. I'm gonna make my coffee real quick, then I'm gonna answer some comments, and then I think we're gonna head out on a hike today and then show you a little bit more of my daily van life. But let's roll the intro first. So I think this morning the foo-foo that I'm gonna add to my coffee is Cold Stone Sweet Cream. Yum. So I'm actually filming this video the day after I released my very first daily vlog style video and the response you gave me was amazing. I really appreciate it. But let me jump into these comments here real quick. All right, so I have a comment here that I think I'm gonna highlight. This is from Danny Cook and it says, how many miles a year do you travel? It's been six months since I moved into my van and I've traveled 15,000 miles. So probably somewhere between 20 and 30,000 miles. I think I wanna start traveling a little bit slower in the future. Go to an area and just really explore it like the Pacific Northwest, the mountain states, and just stay for longer. So I'm not kind of zigzagging all over the country. I need some rhyme or reason or method for my travels. Right now I'm just foo foo foom all over. Yeah, 15,000 miles in a half a year so far, Danny. So thanks for the question. You know, I wanna share something with you guys really quick here. I am working on a new design logo for my channel and I'm working on badges but this is probably going to be my new logo. I don't know, by the time this video comes out, I might already have these, but I really, really like this. The graphic designer that I'm working with did a really awesome job, I really like it. Figured I'd share that with you guys so you could see kind of a quick little preview of some of the things I'm working on for the channel. I think it's crazy that I'm in Florida and I have to sleep with two blankets. So one of the challenges of van life is keeping your floor clean. Your floor is going to constantly be a battle. So I'm down here a lot with rags, with paper towels, uh, wiping down my floor. No matter what I do, the floor is always a struggle. As you see, you don't see this in very many van life videos. And so it's a constant battle if you want to maintain cleanliness throughout your, uh, throughout your rig. That was probably more than you wanted to know. But I'm gonna change these clothes and then head out on that hike. All right, the rig is in ship shape. It's nice and clean. So we're gonna head out here on a little hike. It's still pretty cold. <laughs> it's about 50 degrees, maybe a little bit lower. So it's in the 40s here at about 10.30. Um, I wanna show you something real quick though. So I'm at this Thousand Trails Park called Peace River. And I found a really cool spot I showed you in a previous video. And it backs up <laughs> to kind of a little swampy area. And it's a little bit scary. There's signs everywhere that say, um, be careful for alligators for obvious reasons. I gotta kind of keep my head on a swivel though. <laughs> Can't get too involved in doing this video where I'm not paying attention. <laughs> and step on some kind of alligator. So, I don't know how well you can see this with how bright the sun is, but it's really, really swampy back here. <laughs> so, I'm going on a hike at the campground here, and it's, uh, it's along a river called Peace River, 
and that river's famous in Florida. It goes from Tampa all the way down. If you Google Peace River, you'll see a bunch of photos of alligators along the river. So we're gonna go hike along this river. I'm not sure how long this hike is. It's a campground hiking path, but I'm gonna go check it out and, you know, see what it's all about. All right, so it's been raining a lot lately, and this part of the trail seems to be flooded. That makes me really uncomfortable. I'm sure if I was familiar with this type of landscape, I'd be okay with it, but I'm not okay with it not knowing <laughs> what might be in that water. I'm gonna try to find another route. <laughs> All right, so probably one of my most favorite signs of all time. And as you see, alligators and snakes in the area. Stay away from the water. Do not feed the wildlife. All right, so I'm so happy. I finally found the trail that runs along the Peace River. So you can see the Peace River right here behind me. Um, like I mentioned before, it's pretty famous for alligator activity. This is actually still part of the Thousand Trails Park here in Peace River. I'm not sponsored by Thousand Trails, but so far I've had a pretty good experience with them. And this is one of the things that's really cool about a lot of the parks. A lot of them have hiking trails on some pretty cool locations. All right, let's uh, jump on this trail and see what this is all about. So I hope all this stuff is showing up. It's actually beautiful out here. It's kind of bright, so I know some of the footage might be washed out. But <laughs> I'm here in Central Florida, and I learned that there are more things to be on the lookout for than just alligators and snakes. There's actually black bear here in Central Florida, and there are panthers here <laughs> in Central Florida. I actually have some pepper spray with me, uh, not bear spray but I think this would be effective. But do any of you animal experts know, would this stuff actually work on an alligator? I'm actually hoping I get to see an alligator, but I want to see it like across the river so I can give you a shot of an alligator for this video. I don't want it on my side of the river. <laughs> I bet you you could canoe all the way down it from uh, Tampa to wherever it ends. I mean, this river is moving pretty fast. Yeah. Oh, here's a cool little beach area. If I was an alligator, this is where I would live. I mean, look at this log over here. I don't want to get too close to the water, but you'll see this log across the river. It's moving up and down like crazy. It'll kind of give you an idea of how fast this river's really moving. Man, that just ma it makes me so nervous being by that water, even though I'm like 10 feet away from the water. <laughs> it makes me really nervous. It's probably, I probably shouldn't be that nervous about it. The chances of me getting taken by an alligator out here are probably less than getting struck by lightning here in Florida. But, but I think we're coming to the end of the trail here. I hear the highway. This trail I know ends right by the highway. So 
I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the van and I'm gonna finally prepare a meal in my van. You asked for it, so I'm gonna do it and <laughs> we'll see what, how that turns out. Whew. Let's do some cooking in the van. All right, so don't let this pot confuse you. I'm not actually cooking in a pot. I'm cooking in my microwave. But it's still gonna be a pretty decent, healthy meal by my standards. <laughs> Here's what we got. We got a bag of this cauliflower, and I love these. It's not frozen. You can microwave them, and there's a little bit of water in there, so it kind of like steams them. So we've got this cauliflower here. We've got some broccoli. And we've got this beef steak. This is for fajitas, but it's pre-cooked, and so I'll be able to just throw it in there. All of this stuff is going to be heated in the microwave, thrown into this bowl, and I'll probably eat on this for the rest of the day. I usually just make one meal a day and use that for lunch and dinner. I usually don't eat breakfast, I just drink coffee. You've seen my Fufu coffee. There's so many calories in it, it might as well be a breakfast. All right, so let's do this. So down here is my microwave, if you didn't know. It's also a convection oven. So what I'm gonna do is grab a paper plate here so we don't make a complete mess. Throw the broccoli in here. It says microwave for three minutes. So we're gonna do that. Well, that's microwaving. I'll show you a quick little van life hack here. So you don't have much storage space in a van. I have this one drawer where I keep all of my pans, plates, utensils, things like that. So I have these two pans and you'll see they have no handle, but they do. It's this handle that's made for both of them. I ordered this off Amazon. You just put the handle on there and so it doesn't take as much room. It's pretty cool. I use this pot a lot as a bowl, <laughs> but obviously it's also a saucepan. I could boil stuff in it, you know, things like that. So this is a really cool little, uh, little van life hack. All right, so the broccoli is done, and now the cauliflower is cooking. So, pretty quick little meal here. All right, so we're gonna dump the cauliflower in here. Ah, with the broccoli in here. Try to not make a mess. Ah, this makes me mad. A big giant stalk in here. I should just have these. All right, so this beef steak, how long do I gotta cook this for? One to two minutes, that's pretty quick. I'm actually gonna microwave it inside this bag. I'm gonna poke a little hole in it so I can just dump everything. Do you use your teeth to open stuff? I know that's bad. My mom used to yell at me about it, but I still do it. All right, so now we've got the cauliflower. I'm actually one of the probably rare people that enjoy both cauliflower and broccoli. <laughs> Grab a spoon here and mix these up. I know you're probably thinking to yourself, well, that's gonna be pretty bland. Well, to spice it up, we're going to add a little, you can see chili lime there. All right. I use a generous amount of this stuff. So no butter in here or anything like that just some spices and the fajita meat. So that should be almost done here. All right, I think, yeah, I think we're done. So I just cooked it in the bag. It's already pre-cooked, so it's not like you have to do anything. And it's normally for fajitas, but I found it works really great. So now I have some vegetables and some protein, and I just mix it up in here. Like I said, this is a lot of food. So I'll be eating on this all day. This will be my meal for today. We'll throw a little bit more chili lime on here. Can't have too much chili lime. And just a little bit of salt, a little bit more pepper. All right, so you wanted to, to see me cook. You wanted to see a van life meal. So in less than 10 minutes, 
I've got this pretty healthy meal that would make my mother happy. Broccoli, cauliflower, and some steak. Let me try it here real quick. Grab a fork, so get a little cauliflower, get a little bit of broccoli, you know, the whole gamut. Let's get everything in here for a little taste test. All right, here we go. That's actually really, really good. So that was a typical van life morning, van life afternoon. If you enjoyed this video, you wanna see more of my daily adventures, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment below. If you like van life and full-time RV living type of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.